Hello students, today we will study unit number 3, Transformers. So in this video, we are going to understand one topic which is connection of a three-phase transformers. So in this video, particularly, we will understand the delta star or y delta connection. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. So already we have discussed about the connections of a single phase uh, transformer in which we have studied that it has one primary winding, it has one secondary winding. So in the case of three phase transformer also, it has one primary and it has one secondary windings. But whatever windings that we are using in the case of a three phase transformer, they are either star connected or delta connected. Means what? That over here I have written star delta. Means what? That on the primary side, it has three phase star connection and on the secondary side, it has three phase delta connection. How? So with the help of symbol first we will understand. So first is star. So over here I will draw this type of star connection. That is three phase star connection. Now that uh, three phase star connection we will connect with the three terminals as three phase AC voltage we have to supply. So for that purpose say we have one uh, terminal B over here, terminal C over here and terminal A over here. Any name you can write. Now that three terminals are connected with what? They are connected with three phase AC supply. How? So for that purpose, we'll take one line conductor. That line conductor will connect with point B like this. So that will be your BB line conductor. Another line conductor will take that line conductor will connect with point C. So that will be our CC line conductor. And one more line conductor will connect with point A or terminal A, which is our AA line conductor. Now, with the help of this three terminals, we will supply EMF to that primary side, which is suppose EP. Okay. Now, it has one secondary side also, which is what? Which is delta connected. So, we will draw three phase delta connection for this. So, that is three phase delta connection like that. Okay. Now, uh, again, we have three terminals. Say over here, I will write uh, B. Over here, I will write C. And finally, I have A terminal. Now, these three terminals are connected with the load. Or we can say with the help of the three terminal, we will get output voltage. Say output voltage on secondary side, say ES. How we will get the output voltage? For that purpose, again, we will take one line conductor that will connect with point B, B, B line conductor. Then one more line conductor connected with terminal C, C, C. Another line conductor I will take which is connected with terminal A, say AA line conductor. And after that, we will, we will draw this type of three line. That three line will indicate what? That both of the winding, primary and secondary, they are electrically coupled. Now, electrically coupled means what? That due to this primary winding, whatever AC current is flowing, so what's happened? Mutual induction process is taken place so that in secondary side, uh, we, we can induce the EMF which is ES. So that is all about the symbolic representation. Now we will understand actual connection in transformer which are very much important. Okay. So first we will take uh, one B terminal that is connected with line conductor. So that is connected with one line conductor say BB. B is connected with what? One winding. So that is one winding. That winding is connected with common point which is neutral. So over here I will show that is neutral for neutral. I will draw one separate line for neutral. So that is what? That is neutral. Okay, that whole line is neutral line. Next is what? I have one C terminal. So over here, I will take C terminal. C is connected with line conductor CC. C is connected with line conductor CC. That is connected with one coil. So that is connected with one coil. That coil is connected with neutral. So that is our neutral line. So that is neutral. Next is uh, A terminal. So over here, I will take A terminal. A is connected with A line conductor. So A is connected with a line conductor that is A. A is connected with one winding. So A is connected with one winding. And finally A is connected with neutral. So A is connected with neutral. Okay. So that is our primary side. Now we will move with the secondary side. Okay. In secondary side we have point, uh, terminal say B. B is connected with line conductor B. So B is connected with line conductor B. Now that B is connected with what? B is connected with C. So first B is connected with one winding, okay. 
then B is connected with what? C. C is not there, so I will take C terminal. C terminal is connected with line conductor CC. So C terminal is connected with line conductor CC. That is our point C. That means B, B is connected with C. B is connected with C. Okay. C is connected with what? C is connected with one winding. So that is one more winding. That uh, C is connected with uh, C is connected with A. Okay. So C is connected. Um, over here some mistake I have done maybe or not that uh, B we have done C we have done C is connected with A okay C is connected with A so over here A is not present so we will take uh, what A terminal so that is A terminal A terminal is connected with line conductor so A is connected with one line conductor A A that is point A so C is connected with A C is connected with A now A is connected with what A is connected with one more winding now that winding is connected with B. So A is connected with B. How? Like this. So that is B. So A is connected with what? With B. A is connected with B. Over here we will draw three lines which will indicate that primary and secondary both windings are electrically coupled. So after explaining this type of diagram, you have to write in your examination few points that uh, this type of connection is used for distribution network. Next is what that primary supply may be three wires or four wires. So over here you can say that is your primary supply. Three wires or four wire. One, two, three. For neutral also you will take one wire, three or four wire. But secondary output is three wire. So for delta connection, one, two and three wires. Primary line voltage is VL1 is equal to root three pH Y because primary means star and for star connection, what we know that all the line voltages are is equal to Sorry, all the line currents are equal to phase current and all the line voltages are root 3 into phase voltage that we have derived. So that is why line voltage is root 3 into VH, VPH. Okay. Now secondary line voltage is VL2 is equal to VPH2. Secondary means what? Delta connection. For the delta connection also, um, we have derived two equation. Which one? That in the case of delta connection, uh, all the line voltages are equals to phase voltages and all the line currents are equals to root 3 times of phase current. So for delta connection, VL is equals to VPS. So VL is equals to VPS. Then you will take the line voltage ratio, which is A is equals to VL1 VL by VL2. VL1 is this, VL2 is that. So that is your final equation. So now I would like to end this video. So in the next video, we will meet with a new topic, which is Delta Star Connection. So till then, read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.